So as you can see, I wanted to make it look like the background was done first. So I did go over part of our sketch, the lines that we had, but I know where those lines are, so I'm not too concerned with it. And now I'm just going in and trying to put in a little bit of a flesh color. Um, and I used Sandy Blonde and I mixed in just a touch of cake batter in with that. Um, and then a little bit of white, um, because I was just playing to try and use the DIY paints to give me a flesh color, uh, which I had never done with those paints before. So I'm just kind of mixing and playing, and I do want to make sure that I have some shadows, and in doing that, I took my color that I had used, um, as my base skin color, and I added in just a tiny bit of layered chocolate to get those shadows. Now I'm taking um, Cowgirl Coral, and I'm just kind of putting my dress in on my angel. I have not completed the arms because I'm not real sure what I was going to do with them at this point. Um, I just wanted to get the shoulders and the dress going, um, and I'm kind of mixing some Cowgirl Coral with Petticoat Pink to give a little bit of variation in the dress. I am going right down to the bottom of the canvas because I don't want to have to do feet or anything on my angel. Um, I just want to be able to have her totally covered in her dress. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take um, White Swan and I'm going to put in my angel wings. Um, and while I'm doing this, DIY paint is a clay base and so I'm able to build up texture into um, the wings and I wanted to be able to do that because I want to be able to put that wash on and I want the gold to settle in each of the recessed areas in that texture that that I'm creating. Now when you do this it does take a little bit longer to dry when you use it to create that texture so you won't see it in the video but I do take a break once I have it on there um, and let it set up and solidify so that when I do go through and put the wash on, I don't have a problem with taking off the white paint that I have on underneath there. Now you can see I'm just playing with that texture. Um, trying to get the ridges and things the way that I want them in the wings <clears throat> because I do want to have kind of a feather-like look um, to what's going on with the wings and then when I put the gold wash over it will settle in all of, all of those grooves. Okay, so now I'm just going through with some layered chocolate and I'm starting to add in her hair. Um, I wanted her to be brunette. I will go through and mix in a little bit of faded burlap into the layered chocolate so that we can have some highlights and lowlights within her hair as we go. And I'm just kind of playing and seeing how far I want it to come down and... Um, I'm trying to kind of make it look like it's a curly hair do and with uh, side swept bangs. And so I'm just going to play a little bit with this with the different two different colors trying to add some uh, texture and some depth into her hair. All right, and so now I am taking a little bit of cowgirl coral, mixing in with our flesh color to add just a little bit of rosy into her cheeks. We are doing a faceless angel, but I do like having that little bit of rose in her cheeks. And I'm gonna take a little bit of layered chocolate and put some shading in underneath her chin there so that she has some shading. And I'm just going back in with a little bit of the water lily in the base of her dress and a little bit of the um, petticoat pink because I want to have um, this dress not be perfect. I want it to kind of have different colors in it and be a little gauzy. Um, I am just doing the petticoat pink on the top 
and not doing the water lily so that there is that separation at the waist. So now I'm mixing up my gold and I'm just putting a wash on. I do have it really thin and so I don't want it to drip and run beyond the wings. So I'm just going through with a paper towel and blotting it a little bit so that we don't have that running going on. And I'm just putting on a couple of layers. I added a little bit more gold in. Um, because I wanted it to be a little bit more gold and then along those top edges and right on the tip of the wings I will put a little additional gold um, just to, to set off those areas. Alright, and so now that I have the gold and I let it dry some, I'm just going in with my white swan and adding a little bit more with a very light touch um, over the top of the ridges, um, which will help bring the gold out in the um, depth of those ridges and give a little bit more definition to our wings. And I'm just going through and working a little more with her hair and her skin and getting uh, a little bit more defined. I did bring her arms down and I have decided that she's going to be holding a bouquet of flowers. Now you see I'm doing stems here with the brush um, and putting in a base of green to add my flowers to. Um, I do end up not liking my stems and the way that they're going down there. So I do go through and cover those up um, with some more of the cowgirl coral and what I have the base of the skirt done in. And then I go back in with a palette knife and redo those to my liking. And the flowers, I'm just taking white swan, um, liquid sunshine, and petticoat pink and making the three different flowers in there. And all I'm doing for those is making dots. And now you can see that I have covered up my original stems and I am just putting in a few hanging down. I had way too many before. And so now I'm going to go in and I'm going to put in um, some ribbons hanging down off of the base of the flowers. And I'm going to put a bow in there. And I'm doing that using white swan. So now we're just going to be putting the finishing touches on. There are a lot of different ways that you can paint an angel. This is a really simple, easy way um, to just do the basic form. So here is our completed project. I like her. Um, I think that she will be perfect for a mantle for Christmas time or um, to hang on the wall in a special place and maybe an entryway or leaning against a wall on an entryway table. Um, and will be a perfect accompaniment for the Christmas season. So once again, if you like these videos, please give me um, a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, share with your friends, and hit the little bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. I typically upload on Thursdays. Um, if I'm feeling ambitious, I'll throw in another day. You guys have a great day and enjoy your week.